anterior cruciate ligament or better known as SCL is one of the major ligaments in the knee. SCL injuries most commonly occur during sports that involve sudden stops or changes in direction. Many people hear or feel a pop in the knee when an SCL injury occurs. The other signs and symptoms of an SCL injury might include severe pain and inability to continue activity, swelling of the knee and a feeling of giving way of the knee with weight bearing. Seek immediate care if any injury to your knee causes signs and symptoms of an SCL injury. In the hospital, the physician will examine you and determine the severity of the injury. An accurate diagnosis can be given through the results of investigations such as X-ray and or MRI. A reconstruction of the SCL operation will be carried out to repair a torn of SCL. Hi, my name is Beth Shanti. I'm a physiotherapist from a Kuching Specialist Hospital. After the operation, you will be referred by physician to physiotherapist for your SCL rehabilitation program. Physiotherapists will visit you in the ward, carrying out a complete assessment in order to design your tailored rehabilitation program. In the early stage, physiotherapists will give pain relief to your knee to reduce the pain and swelling. This can be done through ultrasound therapy, cryotherapy, and some manual technique. Rehabilitation following SCL reconstruction is essential for full recovery. Next, we are going to show the exercises to be done accordingly following the timeline. First phase from week 1 to week 2, our goal is to achieve active range of motion from 0 to 90 degrees within 10 days. A good quadricep contraction, full weight bearing at later stage, swelling control, graft protection and wound healing. You will be prescribed to walk with two crutches at the early stage and later progress to single crutch. You will need to wet bear as tolerated. Your physiotherapist will guide you with your gait training both on the ground and stair. To mobilize the knee, slide your heel up until you feel the resistance and slowly slide your heel down. Repeat 10 times. Also, to maintain the mobility of the knee, patella mobilization should be done in up-down direction and side to side. In order to achieve full extension of your knee, you can prop up your heel in lying position using a roll towel. You should keep your knee as straight possible when you are resting on the couch. To stretch your calf muscle, keep your leg straight in front and pull your foot up with the towel. Hold for 10 seconds and repeat 5 times. Hold your leg straight up by using a towel to stretch your hamstring. Hold for 10 seconds and repeat for 5 times. Static quadriceps exercise to activate the quadriceps muscles. Keep your involved leg straight in front and then push your knee down as hard as you can. Hold for 10 seconds and do for 10 repetitions. Next, straight leg raise or call SLR in short is done in lying position. Bend your opposite leg and then lift up your involved leg just as high as the other leg. Push your knee down as much as possible. Hold for 5 to 10 seconds and slowly lower down your leg. Repeat 10 times. 
In standing position, you can do weight shifting training with both hands hold on to firm furniture such as bed, chair or table at your home, shift the body weight forward or backward and also side to side. Stationary bike can be done for knee range of motion. At the earliest stage, you might need to set the seat higher to compensate for limited knee bending. Cycling for 10 to 15 minutes with comfortable speed will be ideal. Mini squat training. Make sure your knees do not bend more than 30 degrees. Hold for 5 to 10 seconds and repeat 10 times.